Hi everyone, it's David with Shaman Man, and today I wanted to discuss what happens when you get triggered. Uh, in this time that we're in of, of chapters ending and new chapters beginning, um, it's really important that you don't take what has caused you problems from the past into your future. So it's one thing to be present, and it's another to dispel those things that get you triggered. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're working through your day and you notice that certain events, certain people, certain circumstances create some dis-ease in you make you triggered, you become irritable, you become depressed, you become frustrated, and then you start to take that out on yourself and on those around you. So what's happening with that? What, what does it mean to be triggered? Um, when life throws you hooks that create this kind of imbalance in you, those are road signs that you have to look. Those are opportunities. Those aren't really bad things. We view them as a bad thing because they make us uncomfortable and they frustrate us. Um, but it gives, they're really opportunities for us to evaluate what's happening in us. What have we not worked on in us that makes this, affects us in such a way to where we lash out? And, you know, lashing out takes a couple of different forms. I mean, you can lash out to yourself. When you say to yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy of this, I don't deserve this, it's never happened for me before, why would it happen now? Those are lashing out. You're just doing it to yourself in a, you know, more subtle way or, or a, you know, but it, it's very hurtful. It's, it's still bad. If you're frustrated and you're working with folks and then you start to complain a lot, you start to um, whine about a particular situation or you're sitting there kind of in a steamy mode, um, the same thing happens. You're still lashing out. You may do it more subtly or you may become angry, dude, and, and put it out that way. But in all of those examples, it doesn't serve you. You know, the, when you when you become triggered, it's really about you leaving your second you, the, the higher self of you, and you're brought down here to the material plane and are affected. You become the actor, and so you're emotionally charged with what's happening, and you have to question that. So the next time that you become triggered, I want you to do this. I want you to take a moment. Um, and you can do this quietly so you don't look crazy, particularly if you're in an office scenario. But I want you to take a moment and I want you to sit with it. Just sit with the feeling and ask yourself, is this really that important? Is what's going on around me that's triggering me, is whatever that has just happened that is creating this frustration, this anger, this whatever inside me, is it real? Is it really important right now? And take that kind of a 10 second moment to say, count to yourself and just sit with it for a second. And what you'll find is you'll be able to dispel it much quicker. And dispelling it takes two fashions. It's, it's the first is, how do you have it not affect you so immensely right now? How do you, how do you temper that? And then the second is, how do you remove it permanently so that you're not triggered again? And those are two different things, two different types of practices, but the first real stage for you is how do you minimize its effect on you so that you then don't become here so much and lose sight of your goals, lose sight of you making progress, lose sight of yourself in this where you get wrapped up in this emotion. So I hope that helps, and until we speak again, be well.